So, in this example, I'm going to show you how to find maximum and minimum points on a curvy graph like this one. 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5. Now, maximum and minimum points are on the parts of the graph where the gradient is 0. So, we've got to find out the formula that finds out the gradient anywhere on a graph. And how do you do that? You differentiate. Now, if you don't know some of the basics of differentiation, check out the video before this, and that's on my website, sigmaths.com, in the IGCSE differentiation section. So, lots of questions will be answered in the warm-up video to this video. Now, dy by dx, which represents the formula for the gradient, is got by differentiating this. How do you differentiate that? You bring the power forward, so you times it uh, by the power when it goes forward. So that 3 goes there, you get 3 times 2x cubed, but not cubed because you do 3, you take away 1, you take away 1 from the power. So this becomes this, which is basically 6x to the power 2. And then you differentiate this bit, the 2 goes forward, the minus, just ignore that, that's just over there. It becomes 2 times 3x to the power, or well, take away 1 from this power, leaves you with 1. So that's 6x to the power 1, or just 6x, like it says there, and that minus is still there. And that's just a number, so all numbers just differentiate to 0. So all of this differentiates to this stuff here, 6x squared minus 6x. That is the formula to find out the gradient anywhere on the graph. Now I want to find where on the graph the gradient is 0. So for what values of x will I get gradient 0? Well, you simply make it equal to 0, solve that, and the two solutions are x equals 0 and x equals 1. So the parts of the graph where the gradient is 0 is at the point where uh, on the graph the x-coordinate is 0 and where the x-coordinate is 1. Now, we've just found out where some turning points are, which is a general name for maximum and minimum uh, points on the graph. But we don't know what kind of turning points are. Are they maximum points or minimum points? Is this a maximum or minimum? Is this a maximum or minimum point on our graph? So, first thing I'm going to do is actually find out the whole coordinate. Okay, x equals 0 means what? Well, I stick, stick 0 into the equation, and basically I get 5. So when x equals 0, x equals 0, y equals 5, which means a point on this graph where the gradient is 0 is 0, 5, 0, 5. So we've got one point where the gradient is 0. Now let's check what kind of point is it? Is it a maximum or minimum? So, you use this formula. You differentiate the second time, and if the differential is a negative number or less than zero, that means it's a maximum point. You've got a maximum point. So, let's do the second differential. That means differentiating this thing here. Uh, differentiating the first time gave you 6x squared minus 6x. Differentiating again, getting the second differential, means, you know, bring the power forward again. So 2 times 6, uh, which is 12, x to the power 1, because you take away 1 from the power, gives you 12x. And this simply differentiates to minus 6. So the second differential is 12x minus 6. At x equals 0, which is the point we're talking about, if we put 0 into here, you get 12 times 0 minus 6, which is minus 6. So the second differential is minus 6 at x equals 0, at our first point that we've got. So minus 6 is a negative number less than 0. And if you've got a negative number in your second differential, that means you found a point where it's a maximum. Okay, so x at x equals zero or the entire coordinate zero five, we have a maximum point. Let's check out this other x value, x equals one. Now again, I want to know the whole coordinate because it says find the points, i.e., the whole coordinates. So 
what where is this uh what coordinate is this on the graph i know how far along the x axis it is is one along in the x axis but how far along on the y axis is it so i stick in y into our equation so i stick in x equals 1 into our equation so you put 1 in there 1 cubed 1 squared and all that kind of business and uh, what do I get? 2 times 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared plus 5. That is 1 times 2 is 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus 5 is 4. So when x equals 1, y equals 4, that's a coordinate 1, 4. So 1, 4 is another point where the gradient is 0 on this curve. But we don't know yet. Is it a maximum or minimum point? So again, I do the second differential, which is the same thing as before, 12x minus 6. And again, I put x equals 1 into this formula. So 12 times 1, take away 6, is 6. And 6 is a positive number or greater than 0. So if it's greater than 0 or a positive number, that means we have a minimum point.